Alright, what's up guys, Poison here, and I'm back with another episode of Quick Play for, um, Gears of War 3. Real quick, we're gonna get into, we're gonna talk about some things, this video's, first off, I have so many things to talk about. First off, this video's gonna come out late, I'm so sorry. This morning, I was woken up at around 8 in the morning, and I had to go run errands, I've been running errands since about 1. I get back at 1, and I had to cut the yard, so that brings us to right now, which is 2.30. Uh, I've, ugh, this morning's just been all bad. Now, we're back on Homecoming. Now, there's a problem with the game before we get into other problems. I'm back at the beginning of Homecoming because apparently my system got, or my save got corrupted. So, I couldn't, you know, I wasn't able to restart my last save. So, the save is corrupted. Here I am now, replaying this part. Um, nothing major, although, jeez, this is dark. I don't know why I went to audio. This is just so dark. Um, I'm playing in my room. I'm using my Avermedia. That's another problem I need to talk about. So, my Elgato ended up having a... My Elgato basically messed up. Not in like a bad mess up, but it was giving me problems. And I've had these problems for a while, but I definitely started noticing these problems even worse when my GTX 1060 got a new driver update. These problems became horrible, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to sort of fix the problem temporarily, and I'm going to delete the Elgato drivers and just get rid of the Elgato on my computer for a while. I'll come back and fix it later. So there's that. So I'm using my Avermedia Game Capture HD2. Because um, this card still works, okay? So I'm still going to use it, and I plan on using this more. Honestly, the Elgato was mainly going to be used only for the computer, not for, um, not for like, systems. But, you know, when I live stream, it would be used. So, yeah, I'm back in my room using my Avermedia. The Elgato is completely not dead, but it's just not plugged in and it's not being used right now until I fix a few problems on it. Um, yesterday I recorded this video and yeah, and I'm talking about this video like what I'm doing right now. I recorded a video like this and the audio was super fast. Like I talked about it was going to be really fast like this, like I don't know why. But it was messed up and the, um, the video was sped up too. And while recording I noticed that the Elgato, um, the little timer at the bottom, kept lagging by like three seconds on, one second it'd go from like eight minutes and 52 seconds to eight there. minutes and 53 There's seconds then eight minutes and 58 seconds like it just kept lagging by three shame, seconds so i'm not sure what was going on um hey, either way yeah. i decided you know let's use the avar media we know it'll work we know there'll be zero problems and that's what we're gonna say so seeing as today's thursday um my video went live earlier at 11 a.m for the demons cross card giveaway and I have two winners currently right now. Uh, yeah, the official winner, like the first person who commented, was actually Venom Gaming. So he might win the card if he sends me his um, Demon's Cross uh, in-game name and if he's level 20. Now he did everything correctly. He commented first. He, you know, he was the first person to comment. He commented it like correctly. There was no problems, except that I don't have him added, and I'm not sure if he's level 20. If he's not level 20, I'm sorry, I can't hold the card for him. So Venom, if you're watching, send me your name as soon as possible, and I'll send the card over if you're appropriate level. But I have a second winner. I also have someone by the name of Captain Lumlums. Um, if Venom isn't a high enough level, then it's going to Captain Lumlums. So there's two winners, and nothing against Captain Lumlums, but I kind of hope Venom wins because he did everything correctly. So, you know, he was the first person to comment. He did everything right, so... Hopefully he would win it, but if not, then Lum Lums wins it. So, yeah. And, you know, it's gonna sound kinda shitty, but there's a reason why I'm doing it this way. Why I'm not gonna save the card for someone until they're the appropriate level. Oh shit, what? In the past, I've been part of giveaways where people will choose a winner, and they have to hold on to the giveaway until it's right for the winner. It's like, no. I'm not gonna hold anything for anyone, unfortunately. Because I actually joined a giveaway... This was a year ago, actually, for um, some e-juice. And this guy saved, I don't remember who it was. It was some like no-name YouTuber, someone in the same boat as me. You know, they're not popular, but they have a following somehow. And he was giving away uh, bulk e-juice. Like, um, he had like a bunch of different e-juices he was giving away. And he saved it for someone who wasn't even 18 yet. And then I called him out and he's like, well, look, he becomes 18 in a month. I'll hold it for him for a month. I'm like, no, you shouldn't be doing that anyways. He's a minor. He shouldn't even be in the giveaway. I don't know why you're saving this for him. But yeah, he saved it for him, and I guess the kid got it. I don't know. I stopped watching the dude. I'm like, whatever, dude. This is shitty. 
you shouldn't have given it to a minor, you know, a minor shouldn't have even entered, but you gave it to a minor and you waited a month till he was of age. It's like, no, dude, you know, that's BS. Us who are legally allowed to vape should be the winners, not him. And then I even told him, like, you know what, this sounds super fishy, that you know he becomes 18 in a month. It's like, it seems kind of rigged if you ask me, you know? But it's like, that's kind of one reason why I don't want to wait. It's like, I'll just give it to someone who could use it right now. I'm not going to wait, you know, a while till someone's level 20. But, um, let's see what else they're talking about. Uh, I'm just very upset that the video from yesterday kind of didn't work. Because it was just... It was a good video! Like, the audio was on point, and I had to go back to my old, like, $15 microphone. I'm not using my blue eyeball because the, um, Avermedia does- can't use USB, it's only straight microphone input. But, yeah, so, um, I wanna talk about- or, let's- let's move over here, let's pause real quick. Let me go over to my, uh, my notes. Cause I did kinda write down notes, cause I wanted to hit a few certain parts, and talk about a few things. So, okay, so the Hoxton safe, I think the Hoxton safe video went up live yesterday, I want to say, it either went up Tuesday or Wednesday, but I recently opened the Hoxton safe I got, and we're going to talk about overwatching this too, but the Hoxton safe is probably the only safe I could ever say to purchase, because the skins in the Hoxton safe actually look really nice, they're on point, they're cool, um, Normally, I would never tell anyone, like, I would highly advise buying safes or boxes. You know, maybe a key or a drill to open said safer box, but I would never, ever, ever endorse someone buying a box for a game. Honestly, because I feel it's a waste of money. But, the Hawkson safe, it had cool skins. Every skin was cool in the safe, and it's probably the only safe I would ever buy in Payday 2. And it's cool because you don't have to buy a key for it, or a drill. You just buy the safe and you open it immediately. So, maybe later, you know, if I ever find money on the floor, I might just buy, you know, I might, if I find like $20 on the floor, I'll buy $20 worth of, um, Hawks and safes. But, unfortunately, I haven't found any money, so. But the Hawks and safe is definitely a box, I would say, you know, it would be definitely worth it to buy. Another thing is loot boxes in, um, loot boxes in, um, Overwatch that was close. and the reason I would say to buy these is because they don't really give you an edge over games like they're not pay to win They're just cosmetic, which is really cool. Like I truly do love the loot boxes in a uh, Overwatch and I love that the new arcade mode in Overwatch lets you win a box every three wins like once a week So that's really cool. You have a chance of winning three boxes just for winning nine matches Which you know if you're running a, with a good team winning nine matches is no problem or even if you want to run solo and play 1v1 in arcade mode, you could easily just own someone, because I did it yesterday. I'm talking about like literally yesterday, as in Wednesday, I was playing Overwatch last night. And um, yeah, I definitely just owned some people in the game. And like, I got the easiest Widowmaker kill ever. Like, we started off as Widowmaker, and the dude was already zoomed in, like with a scope. He was already scoped up, and I just come up on the platform, Scope him, or scope him quickly and just shoot him in the face and kill him instantly. It was the quickest match ever and it was like... It was so quick, um, if you guys want to check it out, I put it up on my Instagram, actually. Um, I'll probably release the full clip later on YouTube when I, you know, when I think of something to say over the video. Because I'm not just going to upload the video if no, which is pure game audio. But on my Instagram, it's an 18 second clip, you could go check it out. Uh, my Instagram is going to be left in the description of this video, and it's also on my about page, so if you guys want to go check it out. Um, but yeah, the Hawks and Safe and loot boxes in Overwatch are definitely the only things I could ever Hello. endorse or say to buy, because I feel they're worth it. I like them. Um, next part. So, this was perfect with yesterday's video, because I was talking about it fresh. I want to talk about Sombra in, pay or in Overwatch. Now, Sombra is a lot of fun to play as. She's a new, like, it's a new playstyle, and she's really good. I do enjoy her. I also love that she has stretched ears, because that's, like, kind of cool. And she's a Hispanic character with stretched ears. Fucking hashtag waifu status immediately. But yeah, so, um, Sombra is a lot of fun to play as. But honestly, she's a pain to fucking, like, 
I have another video actually where I was playing arcade 6v6 um no rules or whatever and it was our team was nothing but sombras it was six sombras against like a freaking junk rat a pharah a semester too and it was just irritating it's like dude we don't need these many sombras you know we like we need like two of them maybe there should only be allowed two of each character in a certain um team but, you know, arcade, 6v6, no rules. You could have as many heroes as you want in a team. And I was just irritated. I'm like, come on, dude. And we got our asses handed to us, honestly. And I even put it in the chat. I'm like, yep, this is what happens when you have six Sombras. And then someone was like, well, you were Sombra too. I'm like, yeah, but actually, if you check my recording, which, you know, check up my name. I'll put the video up later. I'm probably not going to, but um, I'm like, yeah, if you check out my video, I was actually the first person to be Sombra. Not you guys. And I'm like, we could have rolled with uh, Mercy, and we could have probably won, because she could have revived us a lot. But no, everyone decided to be Sombra, and this leads me to my next part as to why I was playing a Sombra. The only reason I was Sombra is because I'm doing my play of the game thing, where I'm trying to get play of the game as every hero. And honestly, Sombra is a is really hard to get play of the game. Like I have, I've been playing with Sombra since she came out since Tuesday. That's the only character I've been rocking, and play of the game as her is. Not impossible, but it's just irritating. Oh no. Yeah, play gameplay of the game of Sombra is so irritating because I just can't do it. I've been trying and trying and trying and I cannot get play of the game to save my life. Let's see, is this guy dead? No, he's not. So yeah, Sombra played the game. It's going to be very difficult to get. Not impossible, but it's going to irritate me so bad because I'm already getting pissed off. Especially when, like, there's other Sombras because, no, the people I play against, rarely do they have skins for her. So every Sombra looks the same. And I'm like, you know, I think, oh, sweet, I finally got played the game. Then I read the name. I'm like, great, wasn't me. And now finally on to our last point, um, Overwatch as a whole. So I do want to do a bunch of videos in Overwatch. I do want to do Multiplayer Monday for Overwatch. Um, I don't know. There's a lot that could be done with Overwatch if I like really think about it, what I could do. Um, at the current moment, I don't have any plans for it, except for the Play of the Game series or Play of the Game montage I want to do. Um, which I don't know how I'm going to do that montage. Like, am I going to make it cool? Am I going to make it MLG? How's this video going to look is like what I'm having trouble with. But, um, There's a in the way. yeah, would anyone be ever be interested in me live streaming Overwatch? I might do it on Twitch because honestly, I don't want to go back on my word. I don't want to be live streaming on Twitch. That's handy. But Twitch just has more of a community, unfortunately. Now, I'm not sure. If I were to live stream, I would try to do it still on YouTube. But just at the current moment, like I'm saying, Twitch has more of an audience than YouTube gaming does. Which is just unfortunate, but. I don't know. I'd have to figure out what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I need to figure out what I'm, what I'm gonna use the live stream because, you know, I would love to stay on YouTube, but if I don't get much of an audience, there's no point in me staying. I'd rather switch to something that will garner more views. And even though, like, I don't know how monetization works on YouTube, you know, at this point, monetization isn't what's leading me to do this. Cause I don't even know how you would get monetized on um. On Twitch, I don't understand that, and they're blocking me in. Yeah, like, money isn't drawing me towards any specific one, but I'm just saying, you know, since there's no money to be gained on either of them, there's nothing really leading me to one or another. It would just come down to personal choice, you know? Would I want to be on Twitch, or would I want to be on YouTube? YouTube has the advantage of my subscribers instantly knowing I'm live streaming, but... It's not fun when you don't have any viewers, like, luckily when we did Splatter Day, we had six viewers. I think even at one point we had eight, but we at least had six viewers, and that was enjoyable. But with if we don't get that many viewers in the video or in the stream, the video is dead, you know? You need viewers to have a good live stream. You cannot live stream with just two people, because it's boring. You can't keep a conversation alive. Um, but yeah. If I, when I do decide to live stream, I will be putting up a video announcing it and letting you guys know. 
So don't think like I will just do a random live stream. If I were to go to Twitch, I would make a video like General McFadass does, telling you guys, hey, I'm live streaming on Twitch, come check it out. Um, or if I'm doing it on YouTube, you know, I'll still let you guys know, hey, I'm going to be live streaming today at this time. And even last night, um, I was thinking, you know, mm, I might live stream some random uh, Overwatch real quick. No commentary, just straight up gameplay as I go for play of the game. Oh, jeez. Lampet stock. No! Move! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! I was so afraid some bad was gonna happen there. But yeah, Overwatch has been a lot of fun, and I am truly enjoying it, and I need, I want to find content to do with it. And I truly fell in love with McCreamy's videos. If you don't know who he is, he's a YouTuber who I only know him because of his Overwatch stuff, but his Widowmaker video blew me away. But we're already at 16 minutes, you know, we're going to end the video here, we're going to do just one chapter. So, guys, until tomorrow, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, have an awesome day, bye.